Hi, um, I'm Ed Watts. I'm the Head of Civic Engagement and Education at the Whitworth in Manchester, which is an art gallery in a park in the City of Manchester, part of the University of Manchester. And what do I do? My role really is all about working with a team of people to connect the gallery into all the different people across the city that can engage with what the gallery is all about. And we, our work in the civic engagement education team tends to center around three main priority areas, which would be education, health and civic purpose. Um, so yeah, how do we work in education around engaging with schools, engaging with schools, colleges, nurseries, um, people within the community that come to us for workshops and educational work, everyone from babies through to work with age-friendly Manchester and the older residents in the city. We run a whole healthcare programme called the Natural Cultural Health Service, which uses arts and nature together to think about better health, mental health, physical health and well-being. Um, and then civic purpose we, is really just looking at how the gallery connects into the, the workings of the city beyond just the kind of art world bubble. So how, how, is, the, how is the gallery um, operating within the city and connecting to these things like health and education and um, a kind of civic agenda working with different areas of the city as well. So yeah, lots of different things, working with lots of different people. Um, it's always different every day, which is great. Um, how did I get here to what I'm doing today? Um, well, I was, so I'm working in Manchester, I'm not from Manchester. I was um, brought up in a small town called Scunthorpe, which is in the east of England. Um, kind of art galleries, visiting art galleries wasn't something we ever did as a family. It was nothing, nothing that was really on my radar when I was going through school. I was particularly kind of disengaged. I wasn't, um, I didn't really apply myself well enough. I think kind of looking back now, I was a bit of a, too much of a kind of class clown character, I think, didn't really connect with what was going on at my, my school. And then suddenly when I had to go to sixth form college and retake the GCSA, GCSEs that I uh, didn't manage to secure within my high school, I discovered so courses like media studies and photography and I guess really started to engage with something that um, now seems so obvious, but creativity is the thing that really was the thing that made me connect with education and made me really apply myself in a way that I hadn't done previously. So I think that has kind of informed where I am now. It's kind of why I do the work that I'm doing. It's about giving people access to high quality art, culture, creativity in a way that they maybe not thought about. It's not for everyone. I'm not saying it's a kind of... Um, answer to everyone's problems but it certainly was mine so I'm kind of applying that and thinking that that could be for other people too so yeah so I uh, did photography and media studies at A level then went on to do photography at university and then really that saw that as I was kind of working in photography but as my artistic practice as opposed to being a commercial photographer when I graduated I had several exhibitions um continue to have exhibitions alongside different things and then really started getting work within educational contexts in spaces like museums and galleries which was great it really made me understand that what I was interested in was working with people so started doing that freelance managed to get a job doing that within the context of a museum which was great unfortunately after a couple of years of doing that gaining really some really invaluable experience that museum was closed down, I got made redundant, and then got the opportunity to work at the Whitworth and really um, spent a lot of time over the last 10 years at the Whitworth kind of developing those skills, we're working with people. And I've been lucky enough to, to progress within the organization to the role I'm doing now. So yeah, it's kind of sideways step into the art world, but um, yeah, it's definitely where I want to be. Um, different roles that you could get within a space like the Whitworth Art Gallery. So really, really broad. So um, we kind of have roles such as the um, visitor team, which is the kind of front of house role at the gallery. So welcoming visitors to the gallery, really dealing with the nuts and bolts of the running of the space, so kind of making the organisation tick fundamentally, which is a really invaluable 
roles in the organization. We have behind the scenes roles, such as conservation and people that look after the historic and modern and contemporary works of art that we look after in the gallery itself. There's curatorial roles, so people that um, help um, put on the exhibitions and work with artists to, um, to work on the display that we do. Roles within my team, so everything working with early years groups to schools to young people's programs, all kind of great experience of working with different people in different ways, um, as well as well as things like commercial opportunities of working in the shop, working in the cafe, and other things like that. And then another kind of huge um, group of people that we work with at the gallery that maybe aren't um, traditionally employed with us would be our freelance artists and practi practitioners we work with. So there's a great amount of people in the city that um, work for themselves and work freelance and engage with us in that capacity because that's what works for them in their um, lifestyle. Um, what advice would I give a young person looking to build a career in the creative industry? Um, I think looking back, just kind of be as kind of broad in your um, horizons as possible. I think building a kind of education, a creative education gives you really um, good grounded skills for lots of different sectors. So I think really see as many different opportunities and try as many different things as possible until you find the thing that you connect with. Don't kind of feel too narrow. You know, I did photography as my degree and, I'm, I've, you know, it feels a long way from what I'm doing at the moment, but I've actually some of those skills that I've learned around a creative approach to problem solving or kind of um, people management, building relationships are all fully kind of at play in what I'm doing now and fully transferable. And that can really, I would say, apply to any sector that you want to work in. So, yeah, I would just say try lots of different things, give it a go, don't be too narrow and really push yourself to kind of do the best within those and kind of make it work for what you really care about as well. Um, what was the best advice that I was ever given when I was starting my career? Um, I can't really remember a kind of a light bulb moment or one person that ever gave me a kind of one piece of information. But I think for me, um, someone once told me kind of um, the sent doesn't always mean received. And I think that's really stuck with me, this idea. I really think communication is key. If you can be a good communicator, if you can communicate with people to get what you would care across, what you care about across to them, if you can communicate with colleagues as a team player, communication is a, a huge part of what I do. And it's really stuck me this idea that you can't just um, throw things out there and hope that people understand it. You really have to make sure people are on that um, journey with you and following you along. So I'd say, yeah, that definitely is that idea of, the importance of communication has really stuck with me as something that I try and keep hold of today at work. But um, yeah, hopefully that gives a good overview of what I'm about, where I've come from, and how the working in the art gallery might be of interest to some people. But yeah, thank you very much.